buying and selling classic and modern cars since 1980. Here we have a 1947 Singer Super 10. In the north of England, this would be described as a bunny car. Only built for three years, from 46 to 49, just over 10,000 were produced. It's a rare enough car. There's only a handful of them left, and certainly very few in this condition. Technologically advanced for its age, it's got four wheel brakes, overhead valve engine, four speed gearbox. She's 10 horsepower, which equates to about 1172 cc, capable of about 62 miles an hour flat out. It really is in fabulous condition, a real museum piece. Check out this mascot. I'd be buying this car just for the mascot. Absolutely fabulous. Look at the detail on this lady. Lovely Art Deco features in this car. This would have been the last era of separate headlight headlights before they would have been integrated into the wings. These lovely chrome Lucas lights are in perfect condition. Lovely waterfall grill. Bar with the badges. Old AA badge, Singers Owners Club. Little side lights here. Cross by tyres all round. Rear view mirror fitted. And again, nice detailing on these handles. Pair of suicide doors, front and rear. Inside, she displays a magnificent patina. She has a string operated rear blind in here. The court and couples some privacy back in the era. She really displays a lovely patina. Good headline. Rare to see a sunroof and a pre-war war car in working order, but this one is. I'm moving into the front. Again, lovely patina. Lovely polished wooden dash. The gauges are in good condition. The old wire sprung steering wheel, knob here for the semaphores. And look at this, I love wind out windscreens. All cars should have these. No need for air conditioning with one of these on your car. High level of originality, right down to these sun visors. Moving on to the bonnet, we have this 10 horsepower engine. Overhead valves, four cylinder, equates to 1172cc. Has a downdraft SU carburetor. Rock solid metalwork. And the original plaque showing it was made in Birmingham at the Singer Works. In the boot, again, look at this. Tools for the Super Singer 10. And most of them are still here. Grease gun, foot pump, various spanners, starting handle, leather straps, and a couple of bags come with it with some useful. Let's pieces. go for a little drive. Full handle starter. I've driven a lot of cars this era. I have to say, this one drives better than most. Four speed gearbox is a great help. Four wheel brakes, overhead valve engine, she's very technologically advanced. She drives well, it's 40 miles an hour up now. Top speed is quoted at 62, but I think this car would comfortably do 50 all day long. It's been on several rallies in recent times, performs without issue. A semaphore indicators with paddle flasher units. Well, in a straight line. Not so steady around the corners on these cross ply tyres. Really got to think in advance for your point and steer. Speedometer is working, showing good oil pressure halfway up the gauge. I think the fuel gauge is working, it's reading half full. The amp meter is reading, again, I don't know if it's reading correctly or not. Individual wipers, left and right. It really is a great little bit of history, this car. Very, very rare. 
possibly only, the, only a handful left in this condition. This is a great buy at the budget end of the market. I'm very proud to be the top rated car dealer on Trustpilot in Ireland today.